This is the Uncle Buck's crappy reel. Uh, it's a pretty simple reel. It's only got three functions. Uh, the function that it's in right now is what they're calling the anti-reverse function. And uh, what that essentially is, is uh, you, you spin the reel and obviously it won't go backwards. Uh, the only problem with that function in this particular reel is the bait clicker that you hear. That bait clicker cannot be turned off. Uh, it, it's permanent. The bait clicker actually is the anti-reverse. Uh, in order to drop the reel down where it needs to go to free line it, uh, there's two options. You can pull it back all the way, uh, and this is essentially the free line button that it does have. Uh, this knob right here on the back, uh, you drop it all the way down, and the, the reel will feed line. Now, you'll notice that the handle is turning backwards. Uh, what that means is that if you try to cast this, the handle itself will, will turn. Uh, and that can get in the way if you hit the handle with your hand while you're trying to cast it. Uh, it'll obviously stop the, the lure and you will end up with a mess. Uh, and the second position, if you click up one time, this is the bait clicker position that they use to show when the, uh, if you just set the right up, when the, the fish actually takes the bait. Uh, you'll hear it just like you did when it was in the forward position, the anti-reverse position. All right, now the way you would actually adjust the bait clicker on here is the spool tension control knob. Uh, you turn this tighter, it makes it harder to release the pressure. Now, what that does mean though, is that since there isn't a, a, a spool release button, when you turn the handle, it's harder to turn if you tighten the spool. So when you're trying to reel a fish in, you're going to want to loosen it. The problem with loosening it is because of there not being a drag, uh, if the fish tries to take line, it's just going to feed very freely. You won't have any control over the fish. Uh, the only way to use this to catch a fish that's you know very large at all is to use your thumb as the drag. You have to actually slow it down. Uh, this isn't something that's easy to do. Uh, flip it back up, any reverse mode, there is no drag. It's stuck, it stops. Uh, so if you do happen to land into a big fish and you don't remove uh, this button from, from the forward position, chances are you're going to break your line. Uh, the reel is pretty smooth and it does have quite a few stops so even though it's not instant anti-reverse it doesn't turn backwards very far. You really don't have to worry about a hook set with it. Uh, what I would recommend this reel for is to give it to a child and let them sit on a dock. Just teach them to pull it all the way down to feed the line out. Click the button when they get a bite reel it in. That's about all you're going to be able to do with this reel. Uh, my personal preference would be to go with one of the Bass Pro Shop crappy reels. They have a drag. They also have a spool release button. Thank you guys and have a great day.